The construction of the Egyptian pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid of Giza, remains one of the most impressive architectural feats in history accomplished without modern technology. Although the exact methods are still debated, several technologies and techniques are believed to have been used during their construction. Simple machines, levers, ramps, and rollers. Levers. Ancient builders likely used wooden levers to lift large stones into place. The fulcrum principle allowed them to raise heavy blocks with relatively small amounts of force. Ramps. Various types of ram strength, zigzag, or spiral were likely employed to haul the massive stone blocks up to the desired heights. These ramps were made from mud brick, limestone chippings, and clay. The exact type of ram system is still debated, but they played a crucial role in moving stones. Rollers. Round logs might have been used to roll the heavy stone blocks across the ground before they were raised. Quarrying tools. Copper chisels and tools. The Egyptians primarily used copper tools such as chisels, hammers, and saws to cut the softer limestone blocks. Harder stones, like granite, were cut using dolerite, a harder stone or sand as an abrasive. Stone hammers and mallets. Workers used stone hammers and mallets to chip away at stone curves. Surveying in the Langman technology. Palm bombs and levels, the Egyptians were advanced in geometry and astronomy, and they used palm bombs and levels to ensure that the pyramids were perfectly aligned both horizontally and vertically. The precise alignment of the Great Pyramid with the cardinal points north, south, east, west is evidence of their sophisticated surveying techniques. Sight lines and stars, it's believed that they may have used the stars, particularly the North Star, in certain constellations for aligning the pyramids. The builders likely observed the stars and the sun to ensure the pyramids were aligned with astronomical precision, manpower, and organization. The construction required a large, highly organized workforce, likely consisting of skilled laborers, engineers, architects, and a vast number of workers. Recent evidence suggests that the workers were not slaves, but skilled laborers and farmers who worked during the Nile's flood season. Teamwork and coordination, precise teamwork and a well-structured division of labor ensured that the massive blocks were poured, transported, and assembled efficiently. Hydraulic theories debate. Some theories suggest that water may have been used to lubricate the ground in front of sleds carrying heavy stone blocks. Drawings found in tombs depict workers pouring water in front of the sleds to reduce friction and ease transportation. Other, less widely accepted theories propose that water or canals were used to transport blocks directly to the construction site. Mathematical Precision the ancient Egyptians had advanced knowledge of mathematics, including geometry and trigonometry, which they used to design the pyramids with remarkable precision. The angles of the pyramid sides, the proportionate height, and the overall symmetry of the structures are testaments to their mathematical abilities. Advanced Logistics The sheer scale of the pyramid projects required highly organized logistics. Stones had to be quarried, transported, and set into place in a coordinated effort that lasted decades. The Egyptians devised systems to manage food, housing, and tools for the workers, as well as the supply of raw materials. 